Hi, I'm Doug, and on behalf of BrainWorks, I'm super excited to introduce the brand new Unison-enabled B15N plugin for Apollo interfaces and the UAD2 platform. This plugin makes it super easy to dial in the classic tones used by players like Daryl Jones, Donald Duck Dunn, and James Jamerson on some of the most iconic bass lines of the past 50 years. We're going to start off with a raw DI track using this bass, and then you're going to hear the plugin. Like the actual amplifier, the B15N plugin allows you to toggle between the 1964 and 1966 preamps, the latter of which is a little bit brighter and a little bit less present in the bottom end. And being able to toggle between the two is huge in terms of being able to find that sweet spot for your bass in the mix. All right, for this demo, we're going to start off with a DI track using this bass. Then when we bring in the 1966 preamp, you're going to hear the bass start to move out of the way of the guitar. Then when we move over to the 1964 side, you're going to hear the bass move even further out of the way of the guitar, or potentially where the vocals would be sitting. And again, this sort of flexibility is huge. All right, if by chance you're listening to this demo on your computer speakers, at some point I really suggest circling back with your studio monitors or headphones so you can really hear the full nuance of the plugin, just as you would if you were using it in your studio. This next demo is one of my favorites for a couple of key reasons. First of all, if you're listening on studio monitors, you can really hear how much it sounds like an actual mic'd bass amp. That's huge. Second of all, the tone allowed me to take a stab at the tone and vibe of one of my favorite bass players from the late 70s, Stanley Clark. Finally, I'm using another tone tweak here that I think you're going to want to know about. In addition to being able to choose the 1964 or 1966 preamp, you can also toggle between the 1964 or 1966 bias of the power tubes. And for this one, I'm using input one of the 1964 preamp with the 1966 bias. One of the key things on the plugin that you don't get with the actual amplifier is the effects rack section, which includes a noise gate, high and low pass filtering for further refining your tone, a power soak for adjusting the input and output gain, as well as 42 selectable signal chains, which were recorded using four different Ampeg cabinets, mic'd up with a ton of vintage and modern microphones tracked through a Neve VXS72 console. And this is huge. It's like being in a giant studio with a ton of cabinets and mics and just being able to choose which one you want to use. All right, we're going to start off with this bass running into the stock B15N speaker mic'd up with a Beta 52. Then we're going to move over to the SVT410 cabinet mic'd up with a 421 and an R98. I actually used a vintage B15N on a bass session I did with Neil Dorsman, the guy who did Money for Nothing and a ton of other million selling hits. We were both totally blown away by the amount of drive that amp produced. For this last demo, I'm going to use my fretless bass and the drive in the plugin to really demonstrate how hard this plugin actually rocks. On behalf of everyone at BrainWorks, I really want to thank you for checking out this video. For more information about the B15N plugin, please visit the Universal Audio website. We can also download a fully functional 14-day demo. Thanks again for watching. Cheers. <laughs>